Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Frugal Spender. Why The Frugal Spender? Well, in this channel I'm going to put out videos that try to strike a balance between spending money and saving money so being frugal just to make it clear i am in no way a financial advisor everything i put out on this channel is going to be for information purposes only um, it's everything i've learned in the last sort of between year and a half two years from reading books uh, watching youtube videos and, and doing my own sort of research about how to improve my own personal finances um so i mean if you have any questions for me please Put it in the comment section um, and if i don't know it i'll look it up and, and try and answer it for you but i am not a professional in this field um, i'm doing this because the finance industry is very very confusing and i myself have looked for channels like this to just try to find you know information that applies to the uk specifically but the reality is financial concepts work everywhere in the world doesn't matter where you are it's just the products that differ um you know Different countries have different sort of, you know, taxes, um, different products for finances. So the names differ, but generally the concepts work. Numbers work everywhere in the world. It doesn't change depending on what country you're in. So I'm based in the UK, in the southwest of England. Um, I live at home with my partner and my daughter. I'm seven years old. Uh, we have a mortgage property. Uh, my goal is to have this property or our next property paid off within the next 10 years uh, and to save aggressively for the future. Um, I'm 31 years old, so retirement's quite far away. However, for the first 31 years of my life, I didn't know what a pension really was. Um, I've never really considered what I'm going to do when I retire. Uh, until about a year and a half ago, um, I had um, some credit card debt um, for nothing that I enjoyed. Uh, for some reason, I started gambling and it wasn't a lot of money, but it all kind of built up. Um, and the minimum payments within that credit card were making me struggle from month to month. Um, I thought there's got to be, there has to be another way to live life with money uh, than living what you would say paycheck to paycheck as a household salary we don't earn a lot of money it is increasing every single year but you know of yeah, paying close to 100 pounds a month to a credit card company for nothing to show for it was ridiculous um so i started reading books i set myself a goal beginning of 2020 to read a book a week so 52 books in the year I'm a little bit behind that, so I'm on about 40 books at the moment. Most of those books were personal finance books, and it's opened up a completely new world to me. Um, I've learned things that we should have been taught at school. We really, really should have been taught at school. And none of my friends know these things. My family don't know these things. Um, they're quite simple things when you know them, uh, and they all make perfect sense, and they will set you up for the future. However, people don't like talking about finances. They really don't. From what I found is, for me included, looking on YouTube to try and find ways of doing things, concepts, um, just things that relate to UK finance and personal finance and families. It's probably the best way to do it, not being judged by anyone. Nobody really knows you're watching these videos. So by watching them, hopefully, you can get a better understanding of everything. And most importantly, you can take action because there's no point in having knowledge if you don't take action. And hopefully, if you know one or two people can be inspired by some information I give out on this YouTube channel, and you go and do something and improve your finances, even in one percent, you know, when you retire or in a few years' time, even well, for me, in my case, it was a few months. I I went quite aggressively, um, and we got out of debt as a family. We got rid of our our financed car, which was costing us nearly three hundred pounds a month. Bought a second hand car, save up. Bought a second hand car. Before you know it, you got money in the bank. And these are things that 
two years ago, I wouldn't have even considered. I just thought, that's what people do, isn't it? That's what people do. So hopefully, things that um, I talk about on this channel can challenge those things. And you can challenge your own beliefs, uh, but most importantly, to take action. I know this is my first video, but uh, please like. And if you subscribe, every time I put a video out there, you'll get a little notification and then you can watch my videos. Thank you.